Hey everybody, I am Dylan Hechai and this video is about the basic approach for environmental monitoring system known as EMP. Do you know each year nearly 3,000 deaths happen due to foodborne diseases? How will it in 2022? Not only that food contamination by pathogen is source of major economic impact in current food industry, the reasons are food recall, loss of production, cost of insurance and loss customer confident in brand. Can you guarantee food safety by testing only end product? Definitely no. The reason is your HACCP plan or good hygiene practices may not strong against recontamination. In the food industry, recontamination can happen in two different ways. They are adding contaminated ingredient after killing step or by processing environment. As a result of recontamination, the FDA implemented rules with emphasizing the importance of the Industrial Environmental Monitoring Program system. So, it can initiate with just three simple steps as shown. They are pre-analysis, analysis and post-analysis stages. Then your first task will be to design and programming. So please pay attention to these five criteria as a beginner. They are understanding environmental monitoring program goals, gather food safety team, walk around processing line to identify hazards, try to identify risk-based zoning concept, and finally create scientific recognized sampling methods. And here show four major goals of EMP system that are unique to every food industry. Having an EMP system will lead your industry following advantages. They are, it helps verify our cleaning and sanitation operation procedures to determine what frequency you need for cleaning and sanitation, to identify foodborne pathogen and indicator microorganism ecology in your factory premises, to determine frequency of your special maintenance requirements. As an example, you can get idea what frequency need to change your air filters by evaluation microflora, and finally fabrication of equipments maintain proper hygiene condition. But, to achieve this, you need team effort with diverse perspectives, so at first prepare your team top to bottom. However, if your industry lacks experts with experience in developing EMP systems, it is advised to contact a third-party authority or professional. Do not forget to request outside specialists to assist your team when developing EMP. Once your EMP team is assembled, it is important to understand your process flow diagram and emphasizing identify potential points where your product can recontamination. Here you can see which points your product open to environment after final CCP point. Not only that, mapping of following layout such as processing equipments, foot traffic, folk lift traffic, Drain system and airflow layout help you to identify harborage niches in the production line. Now almost your full effort have paid off, the next step is to analyze EMP samples using approved recognized industrial procedures. These reference methods above are widely known and recognized, however you need to make sure methods are properly validated. Once preliminary investigational data is collected, it must be analyzed and interpreted. Intensive data from investigational phase is used to set up ongoing environmental monitoring program system. Our next video will go into great details about zoning concept. Have a wonderful day. Please leave suggestions and share your knowledge with the Global Food Safety and Quality Network in order to help the food industry build a better future.